I don't know if people know this, but I have been doing speedruns for two years. And I did runs back then, and I saved some of them <laughs> when you stream on Twitch. There is this little box you have to check in your account that says, Hey, guess what? Save my VODs after they're gone. I did not check that for about three speedruns. So, me being a complete noob is not, like, there. However, I'm as close as you can get to possible. I think but I have my time here. Here, I can go here. We have this run, a little over four hours. So I have about a two hour time in this category now. Uh, so I cut off two hours from when I first started. So today we're just gonna look at this. I'm gonna see, laugh at how bad I was and how bad I still am. So if I remember correctly, I was doing a run before this. Why did I reset this run? So I checked the map. For people who don't know, there's a hallway, like the second or third encounter in this, where if you died during it and you didn't get the comp point points for that arena yet, you would just not get it for the all of cultist base. And that's exactly what happened. I was so bad. I died and then I the run scuffed, so it's not valid 100%. I believe that's why I reset, right? So let's see here. Oh, yeah, one thing to note. Back in the day, I loved to use the center, uh, was it classic weapon pose? Here is my logic for why classic weapon pose is better. You see, when you have classic weapon pose, your, your like shotgun is like over here and it's covering up all this space. But if you have classic in the center, you have best cone of vision on both sides. So I ran for it for the longest time until we found out that literally it was slower, like Literally, you'd lose time save. You can't do a strat because classic weapon pose have some stuff up, but that's just how it be. Classic encounter. I don't. I don't think I get barges this good nowadays. I mean, I'm doing some good stuff, you know. Like I'm on when stickies aren't cooldown. I'm just pumping shotgun shells into things. But the thing that really helps with uh, runs nowadays is prioritizing stickies for things that are far away with you, and then just single shotting when things are close. I'm doing none of that. I'm just sticking and then shotgunning after if I feel like it. Also, no P hops. Bunny hops do not exist. I believe I didn't even have jump bound scroll wheel at this point. So I was trying to time B hops and it just never worked. I like started streaming from like nothing. I had like two friends who coincidentally saw that I was streaming in Discord one day and joined chat. Like I had like nothing. So it took me a while to get to affiliate. What's the date of this stream? Let's look real quick. May 26, 2020. This was about a week into me streaming. Yeah, about a week. Also, be warned, I streamed at about 2.5k bit rate playing Doom Eternal. So we're going to see nothing. Resolution will not exist here. We will have blurry messes when we get into fights, and I'm just going to accept that. I think I kind of just wing this, right? No, I have a little bit of a route. Look, grenade for that one. Do I get the Kako Death Warp? I do! What? I'm actually insane! I, okay, that's complete luck because I wasn't standing in any other lo any of the locations to get him to go out of bounds and kill himself, but... It's... I got it! That's results, right? I mean, you can't be too angry with results. Oh, the pixels, I can count them. Oh, and we don't get air control. This was back when I was convinced that air control was not good. And now it's literally a must have and runs. This is so hard to watch. What? This? Oh, this peak game. Two years ago, I was quite the gamer mini. I don't know if you see, but look at all this. What was that? Oh, that was about three and a half minutes to the gate. That's a minute slower than what I previously, when I do, and about a minute and a half beyond all. I'm, st I'm still bad at the game. I'm just less bad. Still a gamer? Should I, should I just do this? Oh. Oh, uh, gonna get it. Oh, oh, such a good secret. I'm so good at this game. I'm the best controller gamer to ever goddamn exist. Uh, 
I am so low health, and look, my flame belch is just sitting there. Fully charged. Doing nothing. I, for I forget to hit buttons. Bam. Now I'm in, like, this area. <laughs> so bad at movement. This trick actually was the hardest thing in the world, and it's literally just jumping. I don't know what it is. I just wasn't good at platforming. Oh, and we didn't know about the purple goose strat or weaver or anything. This this encounter, actually freaking deadly. Actually super deadly if you didn't know any speedrun strats. Like, I'm surprised casually people can do this on UN, you know? Just sitting there in the purple goo. Because I don't think it's fair whatsoever. Because if he throws his, like, grenade attack, you're just dead. Thanks. I can read it on my screen. I don't know if you all... That is Rye slash Gaming. I said Ryzala. Ryzala Gaming? Ryzala Gaming. I still couldn't read back then. Was chain skip known at this time? Uh, I still checked for collectibles. Oh, chain skip was. That was bad. That was super bad. <laughs> oh, look at me! Did you hear that? Hold on, hold on. I gotta turn off music real quick. That was default Streamlabs notification. I had it. So I'm guessing that I just. Deal more, yeah. Dashing. Did I get the? An I got the animation cancel. No, I didn't. I missed it. Wait. Man, why am I so concerned about three seconds of an animation cancel when I'm bad enough to where it doesn't matter? Speak the truth, there. Old Retro knew it. That three second time saves were meaningless in this category. Still meaningless now. You're supposed to go to the Praetor token. I did not know and I just turned around. I didn't even know fortress movement at this time. No B hops. B hops are cringe. Did I do anything here? Nope. Just casual way. Literally the casual way. Oh, at least I knew that you could skip that. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm actually an idiot. I still say the same phrase all the time. Of, I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. Lock on burst. Okay, taking my time there. Because I think on literally my first run ever. Backstory for first run ever. I took remote debt here. And that was a freaking mistake. Why won't you die? You won't die because you suck, dude. Please tell me you get the chainsaw here. Please tell me. Why aren't you chainsawing, dude? You're so low on ammo. You said you were low on ammo before. You didn't even get the ch I'm sorry. Let's look at this great meat hook usage. He just literally well, he hooks on when I'm so two feet battle, away. Like <laughs> I don't even think that's what's happening. Grabbing the haste power up at the same time, but completely ineffective. Like what? I overdrived for literally two enemies. You can carry that through the rest of the encounter if you're good enough. I think what we're seeing here is proof that anyone can be a speedrunner. This trigger is so weird. So, Ritro and the previous didn't know this, but... There was another one you hit this, you wait for this, and I'm still looking backwards. You actually don't teleport unless you turn around towards the front of the train. Wait, what, what did he say? 
Honestly, when I start to do Ultra Nightmare, I think that's when I'm gonna start hating this game. You hated it way earlier than that, buddy. <laughs> the gun position change your FOV. No, both was just changed because Retro from two years ago forgot there was such thing as an FOV slider and didn't adjust it until I believe somebody pointed it out in chat one day. Oh yeah, I remember back in the day, I didn't feel comfortable calling this speed runs, but that was what I was trying to do because I was, I was bad. So what I did was I said, speed runs with quotation marks in the title so i didn't feel so bad about myself oh i got t i got time slow i'm i actually remember why i got this time slow believe it or not this was not a mistake this was not like i misclicked or something this was in the route i routed this out You'll see why actually later in this level, but that was a conscious decision for a trick I will do. Okay, now this is what the time slow was for. It was literally only for this trick. Normally you would weapon wheel to do that. However, I didn't know weapon wheel slow down time. So I was just like, what slows down time? Ah, the time slow rune. So I got it specifically for that trick and that's it. Oh, look at that crispy frame rate. That 2,500 kilobyte per second broadcast. Ah, oh, lagging. It's great. You can see two pixels. It's fantastic. I killed the boss? I sure hope I do. Uh, look at this awesome fight routing. It's so good. Imagine if I just literally spent time with the encounter. Don't even look at what people did. Just, like, spent time with the encounters, figured out a somewhat decent strategy, and then continued. Like, that would have been so much better, but I kind of just started winging runs because it was what I wanted to do at the time. I was just, like, speedrunning. He's just go trying to go fast, right? No prep. So I didn't do any prep. To be fair, I think I still abide by that you should always do this, at least on your first run, because I think those are the best, where you have no planning, and you're just trying to go fast without much thought ahead of time. Just grenade! Flame Belch! Use any of your equipment, dude! And I had no ammo throughout that whole fight. That was bad. That's the one thing I notice. It, 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 I, I have so many options that could help me involve my equipment in order to succeed. I just never use them. Never. Never ever. I don't get it. That looks like your gameplay? Uh, it can't be your gameplay because this is worse. Oh, 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 this is a piece of history. This trick is a piece of history. You're supposed to fall after grabbing this gun. However, you can just slightly touch it and not hit the fall trigger. Look at, oh, Retro getting so, oh, dude. He was so scared because he was low health. Oh, those were the days. Those were the days. Ah, imagine playing this game and feeling fear and not like you just got scams like during an encounter. Imagine that. Hey, farming blood punch to get at the tyrant. Let's go. Energy shielding into a blood punch on the doom hunter. That's actually not bad. That's out of its time. Most runners didn't do that at this point, I don't think. Nope. Yeah, come on. I actually got stuck in the purple goo. This is actually still kind of a common experience. I freaking got stuck down there. Ah, uh, you gotta hook on stuff further away and then jump retro. Obviously, come on, dude. Oh yeah, no wonder why you're having so hard maneuvering in air. It's cause you didn't pick up air control. Oh, dude, I got a b-hop. What? What? Guy, look, look at this. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> I ahead of my time pioneering bunny hops got a good ice bomb okay I definitely like how I baited the marauder and I waited till he was outside there and then oh previous right row you you poor soul you poor soul look at this moments before disaster oh look at that ballista boost those were horrible ballista boosts, but he tried. He tried. There we are. 
I'm not getting any splash damage, but yeah, at least I'm BFGing. I wait, I I had an extra BFG. I just didn't use one. Didn't oh even God, BFG a juicy. second that time. <laughs> and I'm calling the fight juicy. Uh, you forgot to use approximately two BFGs, dude. Oh, we didn't know about the dash boost, so we go over here. Oh, but we do the meat hook, right? Okay, never mind. You just dash through. We meat hook to this. Didn't die. Hey, didn't die. What's up? Didn't die. Didn't die. You know what? That's an attitude I need to adopt again. Okay, not going out the backwards way. That wasn't figured out, I think, until zero. I'm I grabbing the map. Why am I grabbing the map? The map isn't counted for Hundo. Why am I? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Okay. Didn't. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I gotta change the. Okay, you know, at least you did that, dude. At least you did that. Oh, we BFG during this fight? What? Why, why did we think to BFG here? Why did we think this was a good idea back in the day? Wait, did I, not I know I didn't, didn't think it was a good strat. I didn't think at all back in the day. I just literally did what the top runners did. Boy, why did they think that was good? You have Ice Bomb. Baldi, the philosophy of that was you BFG so that the Tendril would draw the Marauder Shield and then while the Marauder Shield was away, you would shoot it. But we have Ice Bomb. I don't get why we didn't just use Ice Bomb. <laughs> wait, 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 look, this, this mecha is... I miss an SSG shot. How bad was I? I, I still have to check religious... Oh, I, I remember this route. Wait, we picked up this B. <sighs> Dude, wait, what? I for completely forgot we fast traveled back for the BFG pickup. Dude, that is ancient routing. Dude, I didn't even remember that. What? I have no vaguely in my mind why we did that. Nothing. That's like such a stupid routing thing, but we did it. Ah! Such a time... Like, actually, yes. The philosophy was we were full at BFG ammo, and that fight was pretty quick without BFG. So we'll just come fast travel back for it later. But that just doesn't save time. It just doesn't. Oh, dude, no, you're forgetting about the one. You have to go underneath. You have to go. You're missing the collectible. You have to. Oh, no, I'm going to have to fast travel. going to murder someone. Don't murder them with kindness. That's so insane. No. What if I call my gun kindness? You better realize this, this better not be a scuffed well? run. <laughs> Dude. D wasn't that good. Can't even make a door. Tried making this even. Make He's bad. Either. I'm bad. Oh, hey, he, at least he admits it. Okay, hey, let's see if we get the Tyrant Glory kill. One, two, three. Four, and then I just like uh, I just shoot it. Okay, that's what I do. No. <laughs> okay. I thought I, I thought... Feels bad. Ah, oh, previous retro. I'm so sorry. What? I need to see that again. Gets it in glory kill. Gets in behinds. The frame. The frame he gets out of glory kill at blood punches. Ah, no. dude. Dude. Okay. I POV, I, I you speed run 100%. Really huh. okay. Gets it the okay. second yeah. time, though. Now I can be empty the room. Oh, dude! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let, let's see these icons real quick. What was my desktop like back then? This gives us a great opportunity to see. Had Epic Games, had Nexus Mods. Ooh, I was playing through Tales of Berseria at this time. Great game. Uh, Fallout, Apex. Um, 
Dying Light. I was playing through Dying Light. Control. Watch Dogs 2. I had Valorant. Yeah, I had Valorant. As a, uh, okay, never mind. Get, get me out of here. Oh, look. A successful so Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I knew how to Ballista Boost all the way back then. All right, so this is basically, yeah, this is practically the same as it is nowadays. We just lock on twice, and then we uh, go in for a blood punch. Lock on is just ridiculously overpowered in, in this boss fight. I mean, we slob. I guess that's one major difference. And we also do a little bit of AI manipulation, make sure she travels short distances, but it's not horrible. It's just, it's cool. What is the internal temperature of BFG ball should be to vaporize a group of demons with these? That's actually a tough question. I think that's a physics prof churro worthy question. I think we'd have to determine how much radiation it'd be to kill a zombie or something equivalent. Then determine how much, uh, how hot something has to be to give off that much radiation. And then uh, basically we're there. Yo, what's up mute? Do it. Okay, we are right at the end. We're right at the end of this, okay? I shall do it after we are done watching, okay? Just jump off the fucking wall! Look at him! Look at this dude! Look at him! Freaking jump! What are you, why are you hanging off? That was bad, I got all right, so I have an extra BFG here. Okay, I have two BFG anyway. going into this fight. I think actually this was the norm. Icon of Sin was actually kind of difficult before we learned more about it, so this makes sense, actually. So yeah, upgrading everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when we still did micro-missiles! Micro-missiles! Woo! So yeah, micro-missiles and full auto. Oh, and Unmaker! Oh, dude! Unmaker! What?! Dude, this was wild. Holy crud, we knew nothing back in the day. We knew nothing. Like, this boss fight was the biggest thing because it's in the second phase where it actually does some damaging moves. Just didn't know how to deal with it back then. And then in the gut. Okay, I think all that's left is the midsection now. Do I have a BFG left? No, but I can grab a BFG. I just missed straight up a BFG. Oh wait, frick, I accidentally used the Unmaker. Oh well, doesn't matter. And done! Holy shit! what the hell? Well under sub four, hell yeah. I'm actually quite, that's in 346 with being that bad. That's uh, that's commendable. Dude, that's for like barely oh, practicing. That's actually kind of not bad. Okay. I didn't even mass. I got an extra mastery during this. Lude, look. I didn't spend one mastery token. I guess I owe you all a physics lesson. So, BFG, uh, what we have here is a, a little. a two scale replica of the BFG, and it fires. A plasma ball. This plasma ball, of course, extends a tendril out to this enemy. They're upset because they're about to get hit by the BFG, but they're also a demon. You can't forget that. Oh, look, they're so sad. Oh, that's so bad. Mm, mm, mm. So we have to talk about how this plasma is emitting all this radiation. So we have to make a few assumptions. The BFG looks definitely lightning-y. However, that would fall under the realm of currents, which actually we can probably do. So we can, have, we can approach this problem of two different ways with how to vaporize. So we want this demon right here. We want this to go to smoke. So first we gotta ask, how much power does it take to do this? For this, I will result to Google. How much energy does it take to evaporate? a person so you're ready to vaporize a human it says that it takes about three gigajoules so we're going to work with that number why was there an entire uh, entire article on that um because of course there is so now we got to ask how much energy does the ball send into this 
Now, this ball is actually, what it's sending is a big lightning strike through it, okay? That's all it is, a big lightning strike. So this is a, so what we're going to do that the ball sends enough electrical energy through this thing in order to vaporize it. So I'm going to approximate. So you might, you might, you might get uh, a bit different answers. However, I will say that I'm going to approximate the human as a resistor. So knowing that it's a resistor, we could know that it follows P equals I V, which how much current we send through it with how much voltage potential we send through it. I am going to make the assumption that it's a, that V equals IR. So this would be equal to uh, V squared over the resistance of the human. So if we know how much voltage that the energy's at, but hold on, this power gives us amount of energy per unit time. Now I'll ask you, how long does it take for the BFG to vaporize an imp, for example? It takes about what, a second? A second. Well, P is the amount of energy per unit time. So if we assume one second, what actually we're doing here is that we're just dividing by a second. So the amount of power we need will still be, the amount of energy it'll be required is still about E. They're equivalent because the time is about one second. So V squared over R. So, so if E, okay, hold on. E equals V squared over R. So that means V equals a uh, root ER. Which that's how much energy it takes. So that's our three gigajoules because this is the amount of energy in the human that requires in order for it to explode. And this is the potential difference between the human and the uh, BFG ball. All right, so we have all that. Now, guess what? We have to figure out how much resistance a human is. And for this, I'm going to turn to Google. Resistance of a human. And according to resistance on the fundamentals of electricity, we're seeing that 10,000 ohms on the high side, 1,000 ohms on if the person is wet, we're not going to assume wet imps here. These imps are dry. They're from hell. They're super hot. So like all the water is evaporated. So we're going to assume on the 10,000 side. Great. We have some numbers to work through. Now we can calculate the potential difference. However, we want to know how much energy is in the plasma ball, in the BFG ball. And to do this, it's actually quite simple to calculate energy from voltage. If we have a potential difference, QV equals E. So if we know the charge of the particles within the BFG, we know how much energy it's producing. We can actually solve for the energy of the BFG, but we still need to find Q. So let's just get this all in terms. So this is E BFG is about equal to Q EVAP times R. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to make some assumptions here. We're gonna have to assume what the density of this is because the Q is equal to, hold on, is equal to rho BBFG, where rho is the space charge density. I think the only way we can do this is if we make an assumption about what the space density charge is. Uh, I think I'm going to assume the charge density of a fusion plasma. Fuck, I have to actually, um, I'm actually getting into a paper on this. Y'all are going to explore with me. Kinetic solution for a sheath region in a fusion reactor. Uh, problem geometry, defense of the electric field. So we can assume it to be around 10 to the 20. That's what it looks like as a deuterium plasma. Yeah, I think that's fine because this is a fusion. Uh, about 10 to the 20. We got that. So EBFG is about rho. V square root EVAP R. 
Okay, we have our basic equation. I'm going to plug in the numbers. If you plug in all the numbers, this is a lower estimate. I want to I want to break down one assumption that we made. We assumed that there was no resistance of going through the air and that all the voltage difference was between the BFG ball and the imp, which is about the same weight of the human. If we accounted for this resistance, it would likely be bigger. So thus, this is a lower estimate. This is just a low estimate. And we find out after plugging in all the numbers, we have a, it's about 5.5 times 10 to the 26 joules. Just that. This is so uncomprehensively big. Let me see. That 10 to the 20? That's about how many joules America uses every day. So this is, I shit you not, a million times the amount of energy America uses in a single day in one shot. So yeah, people, uh, BFG cannot physically exist yet. Was worldwide in a year? I I was googling this, so um.